Hi friends, Jeff with RV Optimizer here. And if you're looking for a high-end, high-quality B-Class RV with impressive off-the-grid technology, then you're gonna to wanna to watch in, uh, this video today. Um, we're gonna look at a couple <coughs> different Gretsch models. And uh, before we do that though, let's go find an expert who can help answer some of our questions. Okay, so I believe I found our expert here, Jennifer. Tell us a little bit about where we are and well, what, uh, what this dealership is about. we are at RV Country Mesa, Arizona. The, we are the only dealership in Arizona that does supply the Gretsch. Um, we carry every model at this location. Perfectly. So which one is this one we're about to jump into? This is going to be the Strata Ion Lounge, which is going to be in silver. It is a 2023. It has got the air suspension. It's also going to have the leather Italian seats on them. It's going to have the ion system, which is completely different with Gretsch right now. No, no generator is going to be on this unit. It's all solid birch, quartz countertops. It, this is the lounge, so it's going to have four seats instead of two, which will have the big drop-down bed in the back, which is a, just under a king size. Also, everything is going to run on the lithium system on this unit annually for about 10 hours without having any extra power going on this unit. Okay, so now we're inside. Let's talk a little bit about what we're looking at here. So this is going to be the, obviously, the Strata Ion Lounge. This is a loaded chassis. So as you can see, the touchscreen systems on the front. It's going to have the power seats, uh, full swivel seats on the front and in the back. It's going to have the marine grade flooring. You're going to have a table that goes right here and swivels. Um, it's going to have the, the sensors on the side. It will have the, all of your stereo system will hear and go through the back. You can switch it from the back to the front and the front to the back and outside. You do have the powers for your awning in here as well. Does have lights that you can, you actually have dimmer switches on all the lights, which a lot of people don't know on the Gretsch, but if you hold the button, it will dim them. And Up you or can down, right? That. Right. This is going to have the Timberline system. It's going to have the Firefly system, which the Timberline is the diesel fire fuel system, which is really nice. Obviously, your, your solar charging station is going to let you know how you're doing on here. You do have a DVD player. It does come with little covers. It comes with pillows. You're going to have a little bit better room in this one because it's the 24-footer. It does have a lot of little storage in here. There's several compartments, which is nice. They are using all solid countertop surfaces, induction cooktop, convection microwave, which is also an air fryer. Now, the lounge does have a little bit smaller refrigerator than the tour. The tour is going to have a full size because you take away the two seats, a little more counter space, but you still have a freezer and a refrigerator in this one. You can see your awning. You can see how your batteries are doing. You're going to see how this one is, says it's got the generator, but it's just the inverter with the charging station of your solar. Yeah, so no generator. So that's what I want to talk a little bit about the power process, how that works in here. So. Tell me a little bit about the lithium batteries. How much capacity do we have? So you have just over 16,000 watts of lithium ion system in this with 1,260 amp hours. All right. So if I'm a user of this and I'm out camping and I'm off the grid, I should be able to run my AC, TVs, induction cooktop, everything for how long? Approximately 10 hours. I've had a few customers that are just over and some that are just under depending on how many things that they're turning on at the same time. So 10 hours, that's super impressive. And you have, what, 300 watts of solar on the roof. Yes. So it's going to kind of trickle charge those batteries back. But to regenerate them, you guys have a separate alternator on the engine. Correct. So you turn on the engine, it's going to completely charge your lithium system. You do not have to be moving to charge it. You can just be sitting in one place if you're camping, and that will recharge your lithium system. And Jennifer, do you have an estimate of if I'm idling uh, and I took those batteries down to almost nothing, how long I should be able to run the engine to get that back up? You are looking at between one to two hours to charge your batteries back up. Okay. That's pretty reasonable, I think, considering mm -hmm. uh, what you got here to work with. That's okay. very cool. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more on what we're seeing here, which would normally be talking about or showing you information around your generator, since this doesn't have one. Uh, you've got your inverter button there. And how big is the inverter? 3,000 watt. 3,000 watt, which then allows you to run your AC and everything. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Not sure why more manufacturers don't do that. I know. Um, 
What else are some key takeaways that we should be looking at here? Obviously, it tells you what your house battery amperage is here. Right. It's going to give you your power for when you're plugged in. When you're not plugged in, it's going to tell you, typically when we have this on, it's going to tell you how much solar you're generating right mm -hmm. now. It's going to tell you when you're getting low on it, and it will recommend for you to turn on the engine or to recharge it or plug in to get yourself some more power. Um, it'll also give you um, a warning when you're getting low. Which is nice. It, it it does work with your phone as well. You do have a Bluetooth app on this, so you I can like switch it over to your phone and not just have to look at the two screens on the system. Nice. So one of the other, I think, unique features Gretsch offers is their air suspension. So Jennifer, tell us a little bit about how that works or what that's called. So Gretsch is using the VB air suspension, a little different than most manufacturers. There's a couple out there that are using an air suspension, but this isn't integrated into a B van from a diesel coach. And it gives it a really smooth ride. I've been in the back of this several times with customers, and it's very comfortable back here, just as comfortable as it would be in the front, especially with the Italian leather seats, because these are really soft. And you do have um, five extra seat belts in the back of this unit, which makes it more comfortable to ride in. And basically, you're going to have a nicer, quieter ride in this, like a limo, which is what their plan was. And obviously, push button, these all fold down into a bed. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. So we're going to do th this part first. And so basically a lot of my customers tell me that they'll put it just right there. So it's not all the way down, though you can go all the way down with it. And then you're going to pull your two sides in. It's just a button from the back or the front. And this is a super comfortable full size, just short of a king mattress. And you can put standard king sheets on there. It's just fold them under the corners and it fits perfectly on there. I don't have many people that have not, that have added a topper because they said it's super comfy, but they do tuck in the seat belts. Definitely push those underneath. That is going to have the window, which is super nice. One piece shower. They make it just big enough. They don't want to take up too much of your space out here because most bees are about the same size. And it does have a macerator. We're going to look at that in a minute, some mm -hmm. of the outside stuff there, because I did see, um, which I thought was kind of cool. Right. Um, they do want to put it in a little locked area, so that way it's not open. And they put the a lot of them, the, the bathrooms on this side and no window, and then you have your tanks on the campsite instead of on the opposite side. They switched it to the opposite side, the outside stuff. It's just pure, It's just power. So just extra power for yeah. outside there. It's got little auto lights on it. Just extra power outside. Okay. This is going to be where your outside station is. So I love how this is all lit up. That's very cool. Yep, auto lights. So, yep, it looks like you've got where you could plug your shore power in. Correct. You've got your um, turning either your gray or black tanks on. Right. Um, and then pushing your button will allow the macerator to And a portable in. water, so... They add for your tanks instead of it just being the... Yep, so outdoor water, um, city water, water, and then your fresh water. Tank. Right. Very nice. I love how it's built into the, uh, right. the kind of the chrome molding yep. there. I, I met Mitch Chagretch, and he told me that he wanted it to look nicer instead of it just being the little plugs all over the outside. Yeah. Now, what is that little container down here? Let's see if we can figure this one. Macerator? going to be your tank for your black tank and your macerator. Oh, got it. Okay. Separated at the bottom. They put the macerator on the bottom. Little attachments, but they wanted it to look more flush. Yeah, and it does. It, it built looks it a built lot in. A little bit built in better. Arena Ion Lounge. Okay. It's going to be the four-seater again. This is going to still have the air ride suspension. It's a 22-footer. The only difference between the Torino and the Strata is that the Strata has two more feet of storage in the back compartment. This is the only difference. The inside is identical. Very nice. So one push or pull, I should say, opens the door. Or can you yep. do that from your key fob as well or you no? You can. You can do it from your key fob. Yep, well. that's what I thought. Okay. Another thing I think is kind of cool is the big screen door that's built mm -hmm. into this as well, Super right? Super nice screen door. You can have the screen door in the back or in the front. So you can leave it open, get some nice airflow with your windows. We do have seating for nine in this one. Oh, okay. Nine seat belts. Wow, let's check it out. Yep. So the warranty that Gretsch offers, 
three or 36,000 miles for the Mercedes um, and then as well as for the Gretsch. Yeah, so for they're the going to have the same they're going to have the same warranty on the Gretsch product as they're going to have on the Mercedes product. So right. they have just matched any nice other product is that they will give out their phone number for technicians. That is something that I've had every one of my customers has a phone number to at least two or three people at the factory that they can text and call if there's a question. One in the back so, as well because of the two feet that goes in here. The Strata is just going to be a little longer. But the nice thing about the Torino is you can fit in a parking spot with this, uh -huh. which is why this size is so much more popular. It's just a little bit smaller and you're not really missing anything inside, just a little bit of compartment space, which a lot of my customers will add a rack on the back and they will put their storage products out there. I got all of them with the ion. So now we're in the back of that and you kind of get a sense of all that technology for the battery back here and how they have that laid out a little bit. And hopefully the owner never has to go in there, right? Exactly. Actually, most times when there's an ion issue with a customer, this is why they give out their phone number. It's almost always user error where they're just missing something yeah. and they tell them how to reset or, or turn off a disconnect and turn it back on or what their power, how they can look it up on their touchscreen and see where they are with the, with the amps that they're getting. It does have heated tanks, so it is going to be a little bit better for cold weather, though I don't know if I would live in it in Alaska because you do still have your windows and it's going to be a little cold, but it does fare really well. I have several customers that are in the snow, South Dakota, North Dakota, they specifically picked the four by four option so they could drive through the snow and they're, they said it keeps, it keeps up with the, it's also small. So look at the inside. It's really a small unit. That heater system, it's got the Timberline system, which is the diesel fuel that is keeping it warm and it does keep the unit warm and it also keeps it cool in the summer. <laughs> yeah. And so what you were mentioning about the lithium batteries being kind of uh, all sealed underneath, right? They're right. not exposed below. So the they put their lithium batteries in a housing section underneath the bed. So it will have more, um, it's going to have a lot better weather in there. The yeah. suspension system that the, the air ride will have, it does drive really well though. And, and the four by four is pretty popular. They're very popular. And I've always wondered because they're set up a little bit higher and mm -hmm. the center of gravity moves up higher, do you get more rocking in these? I don't feel like you're getting rocking. You definitely get a little more bounce than the air ride suspension. It's just more like a truck. You're just, it is quiet, but it does have a little bit more of a bounce to it. Higher. Yeah, so the, the gray one is four wheel drive and the white one is two wheel drive. So same tire and rim setup, but just a little bit lower to the ground. That is correct. Same oh. tire, it's going to be the same tire system because this, the Turismo does not have the air suspension. It's not even um, an option. Yeah, yep. yeah. And though this just shows here that you have two options in the back. You can either pull a screen down or the, uh, the, the nighttime There's block. the day shade the and day the night shade. shade. There you go. Yeah, and those are power. Yes, they're both power. So they, they are, Mercedes is telling us 5,000 pounds on the tow hitch on the Sprinter chassis, but Gretsch is thinking we should keep it at about 4,500 pounds. That way that will incorporate the weight of all of the products that are in your Sprinter chassis as well as just pulling behind and just to be a little safer. Very nice. Safety on any features. One of, right? And this is a little bit thicker than any of the other bees are out there. It's just a little bit thicker wall that they changed. Got it. So Jennifer, I want to thank you for taking us around the Gretsch RVs, a couple different models that you have here. Uh, very informative, very nice vehicle. Um, if people have questions and want to get into more details about these RVs, how would they get in touch with you? Well, they can go to our website, it's rvcountry.com, or they can go to my email, which would be my name, J Carreras, C-A-R-R-E-R-A-S, at rvcountry.com, or they can text me or call me on my cell, which is 602-339-0724. Perfect. Well, thank you again, and we appreciate it. No problem. Thank you.